Nintendo have once again found themselves in a little bit of hot water when it comes to their latest legal battle, and that just so happens to deal with one of gaming's most divisive topics. But let's break that all down up next. What's going on guys, it's Kalo, and I'm here to give you the lowdown on all things gaming, and if you're new here, feel free to subscribe to this channel for weekly video game news content, drop a like on the video, and welcome to the level up. Emulation in gaming is always a hot button issue, and over the past two or three years, we've seen this topic come up quite a bit, and that's all across the board. In some cases, we've dealt with preservation of games, or the lack thereof with this all digital future, and quite honestly, that could all lie ahead for us. And many people have their own takes on emulation, whether it's right or wrong, more specifically, I think that depends on who you talk to. I, for one, support emulation. I think that's a no-brainer here because, as a consumer, I am more than willing to go out and purchase one of these games from my childhood, like a Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness or even Jack and Daxter. But alas, these console makers just turn away from the ripe opportunity to make some money, which is weird to say. Now I know with some games, more often than not, it's a licensing issue, and there are some technical pitfalls that do keep games locked to the past. But in this case, let's just say for all the older Pokemon games, like Yellow, Blue, and Red, I legit think there is no reason why these games shouldn't be on NSO, or available on the eShop right now. Now, the lack of certain titles being readily available turns our attention to the secondhand market, which, if you've been there before, you know how this goes. Resellers gouge you to the highest dollar and practically hold your childhood nostalgia hostage. Now, with all that being said, and if you don't want to spend your money, that would turn people to emulation nowadays, which I think is in a little bit of a boom period as far as how easy it is to emulate certain games and consoles. And practically any console that's on the market right now, like the PS5, the Xbox Series X, the Switch, the Steam Deck, they're all capable of emulating certain games. But over the weekend, Nintendo found themselves in yet another legal battle, and this pertains to emulation. There is this gaming YouTube channel by the name of Retro Game Core, and this is honestly one of the best gaming channels out there, aside from mine, that do dive into various gaming topics, more specifically here, emulation. Over the weekend, he posted up this here lengthy post, that basically said Nintendo has come for him, and this is all over some Wii U based content, and a copyright strike was served. Quote, Hi friends, well it does appear that my worst fears are true, and that I am being specifically targeted by Nintendo. My Wii U video was taken down and I received another copyright strike. Even though this showcase video was no different than all the other tech demos I have made on this channel previously, I am still considering a counterclaim under fair use, as the video was for educational use transformative in nature, and had no effect on the market. It was a demonstration of a console no longer for sale. Even the Wii U eShop is closed, so the company itself has no means of earning revenue from Wii U sales. However, I am reluctant to open that can of worms with a multi-billion dollar corporation, as their next step would be to file legal action. At the very least, this means I am going to change how I approach future videos. I will no longer show any Nintendo games on screen, which is a shame because I love using those games for hardware demonstrations. I don't know how this will play out when it comes to showing things like ESDE, front-end themes that contain Nintendo characters. But for now, I am going to focus on actual gameplay. I am also going through the videos I am working on and blurring out any Nintendo game content as a precaution even innocuous content like NES games. Unfortunately, this is going to delay some video releases. My latest video should be up right now, but instead I have to re-edit and re-upload the video first. I know this is disappointing news, but with now two strikes on my channel, I don't really have any other choice except to adjust accordingly. Thanks for understanding. Now, I can't just sit here and tell you how wrong this is, especially being a game content creator. I know my channel's small, but this is very scary. And again, I know my channel here is very small compared to others, but there is a chance, much like you see here, 
that someone's hard work and sometimes even likelihood can be taken away at an instant. Nintendo makes great games and I grew up on all their titles, but at the end of the day, this company only cares about their numbers and they only care about themselves. And this shows over their recent actions. Nintendo also over recent years has repeatedly gone after the emulation scene because they wanna make a clear example to others that this is something they don't wanna do. And if you so happen to do that, you'll suffer the same fate. Now, how does this all tie into the news aspect of things, or what's the whole point of this video? Well, ever since I made this channel, I've chirped before about titles like XD Gale of Darkness, Jack 2, Sly Cooper, and so much more. You get the point. And I think it's pretty clear if Nintendo was awake enough to file legal action against this content creator, especially over emulation, they clearly see there's a want and need for these products, more specifically the games we want to emulate. So I can't help but sit here and laugh at the latest PlayStation is losing money over AAA games, or the latest showcase underperformed from whoever, because that's all the community at large, whether you stand by PlayStation, Xbox, or Nintendo, or in my case, all three, we voiced our opinions over and over again as far as the games and the things we want to see from these guys. Yet they turn a blind eye. But with all that being said, I'm going to pass this off to you guys. What are your thoughts on emulation? I know it's a gray area for most people, but are you for it? Are you against it? And again, I know there's a difference between emulation and piracy of games. That's where I want to know where the divide is. But that about does it here. I've been Kalo. I gave you the lowdown on all things gaming. And if you're new here, feel free to subscribe to this channel for weekly video game news content. Drop a like on the video. And this has been The Level Up.